What a week in technology, Claude has been releasing a lot of new things. And one of those brand new things is called Claude Cowork. Now you probably come to this video because number one, you're stressed that it might take a job. You also want to understand it so you can use it and maybe see whether it's best for you. And I'm going to showcase three examples that you can use right away to get an idea of it. Now there are things I don't like about it. I'm gonna state them and make you aware of them just so you know everything. And you can walk away from this video feeling a little bit more confident about what it is and how it works. So first things first, code work is basically Claude code for non-technical people. Now the idea is quite simple. It access to files and folders on your computer. Now, why is that helpful? Well, basically it means that it can create folders, edit folders and all the contents that's in them. Now, why would you want that? Well, if you're analyzing things, organizing things, or maybe even creating things, that's gonna save you time because it allows you just to type away and get outputs as part of that. Now, Claude's made this experience called Cowork as part of the Claude Max subscriber plan. Now, that is a bravazo. I think that's the word. Claude Max is only available for $100 a month. I think in the UK, it's like 80. I'm not too sure, so do be aware of that. And it's only available to Mac app users as well. It's also currently in research preview and I'll make you aware of some of the mistakes it made later on. So I think those are the important things is it right now is in a state where it's very close, but it has some potential. Before we dive into the first use case, we just released the granola discount for this week. Yes, you get three months free granola. If you're taking meetings, get granolas to join and take notes for you effectively. Check out three months free below as part of tool finder deals. You will love it. I know it. I like it, check it out below. So how does it work? Very simply, you download Claude Mac app here and essentially you go and click co-work in the sidebar. You select the folder you want Claude to see and have access to, so make sure you're comfortable. And then basically Claude does three things. It keeps updated with the progress as things and decisions are being made. It creates things called artifacts, which are basically outputs and shows the context in which it's sourcing from. So the folder you chose in this case. Before we dive into use case number one, you're probably asking what are the differences between a regular cord chat and this? Well, essentially this is a bit more autonomous. It will have access to your folders and things like that, which means you can make better, more accurate decisions in order to see what's in the folders. It also worked directly with the actual files instead of you copying and pasting stuff. And it also has the existing connectors like Google Drive and things like that that you may have connected to Claude already. And then it already has inbuilt skills like building presentations or spreadsheets and things like that. Use case number one, we're gonna open Cowork here and we're gonna select this folder. Now I have this folder, it's very messy and I'm basically gonna say to sort and rename the folder by type um, and information like that. So basically it's going to uh, go into that folder and rejig stuff around based on the type and format of the folder. So why is that useful? Well, you've all got an organized area based on format. So that could be a great tool straight away. Maybe you're planning to buy a house or something like that. Then basically it could do that for you and get all your documents ready. There's no manual dragging and things like that. So here you go, it's created the structure and I think that did it fairly well. It did add the invoices with the receipts, so maybe that's a small thing, but again, my prompt probably could have been better here. So use case number two, what I want now is I wanted to go into the same folder, but I wanted to find all of the receipts. I wanted to read the receipts and then make a expenses tracker as well as an income tracker because I've got invoices in there to get a better idea of how I'm spending. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So why is that useful? Well, if you're a freelancer or small business owner and you just uploading receipts really consistently, you could replicate what you have in another app and create an expenses report at the end of it. And that could save a lot of manual data entry across the month. Now, here we go. I actually got the spreadsheet here and it's opened it up. However, I've noticed two mistakes straight away. The Starbucks receipt is wrong. It summarized it. So I probably need to be more clear in the prompt. And also it has given the date of December, 2024. Claude is not good at dates. I've worked out over the last couple of weeks. So again, that's another factor to be considerate of, especially if dates are within the receipts there. Okay, so I've got a bunch of scattered notes locally and they're all in different documents and I wanted to summarize the information across all of them and create a summary, but in the chat. And as you can see, it's gonna start doing that. But why is that useful? So that's really good for research and meeting prep or content creation. 
and it helps connect the dots across the files. And as you can see, it's done it in here for me, so I don't have to go into a separate file. But if I wanted to, it could create that output in that file, if that makes sense. So we covered our three examples. You probably can walk away from this video with an idea of what it can do. Now it does do more things, like browser abilities and other such stuff. So that's a consideration to be aware of. However, I think it's a great game changer for on-device file management and tasks that you do locally. There's probably a lot of small SaaS services you have that add up to a lot that you may find a service like this manages. Whether that's $100 a month worth of stuff that you can find, maybe, but at the same time, you still get access to the code and the chat functions as well. It is more natural than uh, copy and pasting stuff and doing that. I do that all the time, so it does save that type of job. But there are some caveats to be aware of. I've made you aware of them. Windows is coming later, apparently. The max plan is $100 a month. Research preview, expect the rough edges. Obviously, that is what we've seen in this video. And obviously, you've got to be careful. It, you're giving access to on the device stuff. It potentially could damage the file, it corrupt it, or anything like that. So being aware that you're giving it to active files that are on device is different to loading it because at least you have a version on device to do that, if that makes sense, or at least even that. And obviously security, being careful of that too. Prompt injection can risk like the existing version being damaged. So who's this best for? It's probably those who are very file heavy on their device. I don't do that quite a lot, so I'm not sure I'm massively a big use case here. However, I also see that people who want to do that locally are gonna have a lot of fun with this. I also think this is a great framework for the potential in the future as well. If you have a centralized location, which you can use as a command base to see progress, artifacts and the output and input, then that's a really different framework. There's some great examples they put together of spreadsheets, organizing an entire desktop and things like that. But I just think it's more of a administrative uh, unlock for you to get started. So I'll include all the information below. As I said, all these software discounts that we get will be available in the description. I believe there's even a Claude one, so check it out there. Um, but thanks so much for stopping by in this video. Hopefully it gave you the best idea and you can walk away not necessarily panicking yet that your job is going to be overtaken, but understanding how you can use it to maximize your work. So thanks so much. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe because we're going to do more AI content. We're going to help you understand it a bit more because it's a minefield at the moment. Drop a comment to see whether you're going to use this, complain about the price or whatever. Just talk there. We'll see you there. Thanks very much. I'll see you soon. Cheerio.